Once upon a time, long ago and far, far away, on a little tiny island in the middle of a great big ocean, there lived a wicked witch. Huh? Wrong story. Oh, for crying out loud, Kitty and whatever. <laughs> You know, you can tell a lot about somebody, you watch them sweep one floor. I mean, do they get into every nook and cranny, do a thorough job and take pride in their work? Or do they act like the task is beneath them? Tell you something, it's easy to look good doing complicated kind of stuff. It's the simple things in life that's hard. I mean, Hey, Mr. V. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, how's that computer working? It hey, booted right up. Hey, Thanks, huh? Yeah, you got him. No hey. problem. Happy to help, Josh. Hey, they good kids. Hey. Okay, this is my impression of a campus security guard. Hunty. Hey, go. Where your pass? <laughs> you know, this guy remind me of somebody okay, went to this hey, school hey, 20 like years ago. Yeah, right. Talented kid. You know, a little scatterbrain, in fact. I don't know how he even got out of bed in the morning. I'm consistent, I tell you. Or they're gonna be proud of me, man. I have to do my very own concert. Sherooney. I have become such a professional. I hope I impress him. I think I will. Let's see what we got here. Let's this fabulous toothpaste on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boomatize High School Days, a very special presentation of KGMB Television. Set against the Hawaiian petroglyph. I like that, huh? Whoa, I wonder how long that's been there. You know. If this was carved in stone 400 years from now, scientists be studying this. <laughs> ah, get that off of there. There you go. Now, don't get me wrong. Self-expression is not a bad thing. Like this kid 20 years ago. 
you know, confident boy, uh, thought a lot of himself, but still didn't make it any easier to get where he wanted to go. Oh, boy, I don't know why I'm going to be so late. Oh, man, it's, it's going to be great, though. I just know it, man. It's going to be... It's going to be... Right here, I can't just get this thing up here. Get in here. I really have it together now, man. Going back to my old high school to show them how I made it right to the top. I tell you, there is nothing like good old positive reaction. It's something that you work on. <laughs> Look at that. People recognize me right on the street, boy. I tell you, when you're on top hey, of the world... what's up? You know, what's up? What, what, how did they know that? Well, I guess when things are going well for you, everybody takes notice. What a great feeling that you've just really made a name for yourself instead of just messing around doing something dumb, you know? That's, I tell you, people be proud of you, your old high school inviting you down to do a concert. There's just, well, I, well look at that. I better get on my way here. I don't want to be late. I guess I could take a left turn here, maybe, and that'd kind of put me on the old... Hey, bro, on top! On top! No, no, on the top! A yeah. lot of hard work, but I, I finally made it. <laughs> thank, thank you. Yeah, well, I guess I've made it to the top now. Gab, you know, it seems like only yesterday I was back at the old high school and class. Remember that class every day? Well, I guess it wasn't so bad now that I think about it. Lots of friends, a lot of good fun, but those desks, I don't know who designed them. Oh, no. uh, I meant to do that. It's... A little joke, but funny or what? I was always knocking over that desk, and I would end up making a fool out of myself in front of a whole class. Remember that class and the characters in it? And who was sitting in the front? That's right, the intellectual. You remember him, don't you? Every class had one. It was the guy who just, he, he raised the class curve so high and he always had the right answer. Uh, on the uh, endoplasmic reticulum, uh, two black structures found in a cytoplasm of a cell are uh, containing a uh, ribosome used in a production of a protein. So, uh, very good. I tell you, that intellectual was always the side comb with the airline bag, 47 pens and, I, what I couldn't believe is how he had those sneaky little tricks of letting everyone know that he was finished with the test early. Yeah, uh, so very good. Uh, uh, now, uh, may I go to a chess club meeting, please? Very important. Th thank you, thank you very much. So. And how about that other guy? You know what I'm talking about. Always sat in the back of the class, more or less just cruising all the time. And he always seemed to be writing on things, anything, the desk, the chalkboard behind him, himself. And his tool was always that black marsh pen. I remember that. Bumpy, Andy, Andrew, I'm talking to you. Stand up, please. We're waiting. You were not in school yesterday. Why not? Oh, be because I was absent. Do you have a note? Huh? Oh, yeah? Let me see it. In fact, read it to me, Andrew. Me? Yes, you. Who left? Oh. To whom it may concern, oh. Andy was not in school yesterday because signed his father. Did your father write that note? My father wrote it. Let me see it. Yeah. Hmm. Did you do yesterday's homework? I went to him. Uh, I did them, but uh, I forgot them. <laughs> forgot it. Well, just for that, you have monitor duty. Oh, oh That's right. I, my father. I don't want any excuses. You get the mop, you get the bucket, and you get to work. Right okay, now. Man. Okay, Let's move okay. it. Let me let That's that. how it is, Shoot Andy. Me. I'm sorry. Monitor duty. Remember monitor duty? Huh? Having to put up with that, that mop and that bucket. I tell you, it must have been designed by the same guy who made those desks fall over. It seemed like that bucket would never do quite what you wanted it to. Huh. Oh. Get it for work now. I'm gonna put this in. Uh oh, oh. Ah. oh man, getting all wet over the floor. 
Mama gonna kill me, man. They in here. Oh, yeah. And just when you thought you had it all together, when you finally got the coordination it took to work that mop and bucket, there was that ledge at the door. All right, I'm holding. I'll never forget my classroom days. This baby is the gear press floor night model C101. 200 pounds per square inch of mop squeezing power. <laughs> you know, a lot of people think this design is stupid, but hey, in the last 20 years, you ever seen one better? I don't think so. Built to last. <laughs> Over there. Yes, over there. Hi, Mr. B. Hi. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Somebody must have died. Look at this. Somebody must have died. No, no, look closely. You see, I think somebody died because why else wouldn't they just take this, push this last little leaf inside, and throw them away? Oh no. I tell you. I don't know who was, but I'm going to miss him. Take care. Oh. What am I doing? I'm... Oh, watch it, man. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, 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 I didn't see. Athletes. Well, I should get myself back in shape like I was back when I was telling jokes in the old P.E. locker room. <laughs> Did you guys hear about uh, that new chick in science class? Oh, no. Yeah, her name is Mary Ugly. Yeah. Honest, man, she hates her name. She's gonna change it to uh, Dorothy Ugly. <laughs> Busted by the coach. Pumatai, how many times I told you keep your mouth shut? A nice guy, but talk about authority. <laughs> okay, I think we need to talk a little bit this morning about pride, unity, and discipline. This is not pride. This is just a dirty sock. Come on, you guys, get it together. We're a team. Okay, uh, about the varsity picnic, uh, we get too much paper plates and potato salad. Now, I'm thinking that maybe you better bust out the meat, because you know how you guys like eat. Now, if you like go to the beautiful island of Nihoa, we never sell all that Portuguese sausage for nothing. Okay, about cleanliness, I don't know who is leaving his dirty BVDs around a place. But come on, man. Be more like Yamasato. He is a fine example of what it is to be a clean human being. Ah, that's that. That is very perfect. See ya. Thank you, coach. I thought, oh, smell. <laughs> the stray little bit has in air. Oh, ah, much better. So, uh, oh, oh, look. Little dust, so I cannot have dust. So very, very perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's all you ever say, man. Man, I tell you, man. What? All right. Ugh. Why don't you clean your locker? What do you mean? I just did, man. Hey, what? Right now, bro. Trying. Huh? Come on, what? Trying, bro. Go ahead. And poor Dizzy never quite playing with a full deck. No, 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 bro. Let me talk it. Let me talk it. Okay, gentlemen, I think that's just about enough fooling around for this morning. Let's line up for calisthenics, which makes for good physical condition. Come on, come on, line ups. Jumping jacks. Let's go. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Two. Count them off. Two, three, four. Okay, now. Duck, walk. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, okay, rocking chair, let's go, cut them off, two, three, four, perfect, Yamasato, three, four, come on, Dizzy, let's get it up, four, six, ten, okay, everybody, sit-ups, 
That's right, sit ups. Good physical condition is important to a man's health. Count them off. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, you guys. Let's hit the field for flag football defense. That's right, okay, which means proper PE attire. And that means you, Dizzy, take off that bowling shirt and get on your PE shirt. And there was something very unusual about that PE shirt. Dizzy shirt? Oh no. <sighs> oh no, Dizzy shirt. Hey, I saw drag, man. I'm very unfortunate. <sighs> Dizzy brought one P.E. shirt to school at the beginning of the year, and it's been in his locker ever since. After months of wearing the same shirt for every activity in P.E., you can imagine that it gets a little, uh, gamey. You know, Dizzy, if you don't wash that shirt, you're gonna get arrested for cruelty to cotton. <laughs> hey, let's play some football! Uh, I, I, I really like to, but, uh, I think I'm catching my asthma. <laughs> Uh, 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 have to uh, go out of visual. I uh, cannot play football. My damage lens. To tell you the truth, Dizzy wasn't up for the most athletic award in our class, but when he put on that t-shirt of his, no one would lay a hand on him on the football field. For us, there was only one solution. Oh, do we need some soap. Gee, Dizzy, you stink up the air. Are oh, you no more soap or what? Hmm. I always carry a, a, a little soap on there, so very good for pungent aroma. Perfect answer, yeah? Oh, very slippery! Inside, man. Hey. hey, coach. Hey, hey, you're looking good. Oh, thank you, Mr. B. You know why? Because I take pride in myself. I'll tell you something. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. It's like football. Really? You got to take the ball, you got to move it from one place to another. If you don't do that, you know what you got? Non-movement. The ball stay right there. You're not going to score points that way because you got to put points on the board. Lots of points. Nobody was ever beat by zero. You remember that. This is important. Uh -huh. Defense. Got to be defensive. I'm proud to say that our offense is the most offensive in the whole conference. How did I accomplish this? Well, by telling my boys, hey, you know what? You got to put points on the board. Hard for beat zero, but it's a bad number to have. Life is like a game, really? and game is not football. No, way. Life is not a game, but football is a game. Wait, hold on. No guts, no glory. You listening to me? Hey, wait. And, and another thing. It, it, it is minute. very important. These are lessons for life. For what you learn here, you, you can apply any place. Yeah. Hey, Baboza, let me talk to you. You know, I don't know who has been leaving. There's 30 DVDs on the place. Are you hungry? I bet you are, and you know what you'd like. A giant, super, double delicious, mouth-watering monster burger! That's it, isn't it? Who'd like one right now? All you gotta do is get some wheels, get on down to Ernie's Burger Bonanza, and say, Mama, give me a double delicious monster burger! Hey, quit wasting time. You want it, so go get it! Right now! The most succulent, juicy, biggest, baddest burger you've ever wrapped your mouth around. And I'm talking to you. To you, you. Go get it! Hello? Hello? I, I guess I'll just wait. Uh, boy, going back to the old high school to do a concert, that's really exciting. I hope they're proud of me. I, I guess they will be. I remember what they used to write on my report card. Andy talks out of turn and disturbs the class. If only he would apply himself. He doesn't work to his complete potential. 
<laughs> May I help you? It sounds as if you need it. Uh, yes. Uh, could you tell me what's on the uh, starch special, please? Baked macaroni on toast, french fries, spaghetti, potato salad, and garlic bread. Uh, that's okay. Uh, give me a vanilla milkshake, please. I'm sorry, we're cleaning the machine. Okay, well, uh, give me a, give me a 7-Up, please. We only have Sprite. Okay, give me a medium Sprite. We One. have two sizes, small and large. Uh, just give me some water. Uh -huh. Aha, we'll have to charge you for the cup. That's 25 well, yeah, cents. Yeah, anything. Just, uh, uh, can I have the uh, teriyaki beef plate with extra salad? Uh, the teriyaki please? beef plate was yesterday's special. Today's special. Well, well what's today's special? Uh, it's the beef curry. Okay, give me the beef curry then, please. All right, will there be anything else, ma'am? No, no, I'm, I'm a sir. <laughs> My sister was like that. L listen, I'll do the joke. You want to hear a real joke? There's this, there's this guy, his name was Charlie Ugly. Right? I heard and that joke already. Oh, well, it's one of my foul... Cal, see at the window. I wonder if that joke will work at the concert. <laughs> ah, high school cafeteria. Or as I like to call it, the biggest classroom in the school. But let's face it, lunch is everybody's favorite subject, and in this room, you fed a lot more than just your stomach. Think about it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 287. 287? Boy, I remember when you could get a whole lunch for a quarter at the old high school cafeteria. <sighs> One thing about cafeteria duty that I could never get used to, even though I realized they were for protection, was that apron and that paper hat, those plastic gloves and sometimes even rubber boots. Not exactly the height of fashion. And now, here's the Gerald and Larry fashion report. This season's accent will be on the kitchen look. Full cut apron with tie back. Accented here nicely with matching cap plastic orange gloves, and ever so presentable rubber boots. And do you remember the old Playtex living glove? I remember the old, ah, put this bad boy on here. Playing next to my... And if I knew that I was going to have to wear all that stuff, gloves and all, I would always bring a, a little something special to school to make it all just a bit more fun. Hey! Who's this? Okay, I think we have something. Successful. What you boy out there? What you doing? Ah, eh? you play with a ticket like a little newborn baby. You don't have no respect for food, oh boy. I think I lap turn out of you, boy. I tell you what, you never might be able to lunch all oh, head on my own. I take a tongue up, or I take a tongue. Ah, ah, so ready. Uh, take a take a scoop of rice. So and I want another scoop of rice. Very important. People work very hard for food. Make sure it's just enough. So grab a knife. Uh, uh, so. Perfect. Oh, Japanese boy, Yamasat, are oh, you good boy? This boy, oh, here, good boy. You should all be like him, oh, here. He measure our food because our food is expensive, eh? You suck a good, I'm going to give you a big kiss on your face because you so good, oh, here, eh? Oh, there, boy, look at this. Maybe if I carry a big stick, I don't have to talk so loud to you, eh? Oh, this boy over here only mess around. Eat a lot of work, make a good food cup so that people don't complain, eh? And you only come over here, mess things around. I think maybe I better whack you one time on that head over here. And maybe I come over there, whack you right now, you boy, you come over there. Maybe, maybe then after that, you can, oh, I can't get through here, or oh, I stop. Hit me out. Okay, I'm gonna go okay. there. Oh, stop over here, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, you only here, I gotta keep my eye on you like a little rat and you all play with a fool, you got wrong attitude when it comes to a fool, eh? If you know how much cut you wouldn't play like that, I tell you sometime I like you to tune up so much, too much humbug these kind of things. That lady, I tell you, she's sure, I'll never forget her, boy. <laughs>
Sometimes. You all right, right buddy? Huh? You all right? Oh, no, I'm late. Here, take the money, quick. I, I got it. Tough. Yeah. Tough. Thank you. Tough. Thank you. I appreciate it. Boy, I don't have time for this. I'm already running late. You know, the price of a school lunch may go up, but there are some things that will never change. Wow, oh, that is my kid, you know, I hear. Hey, oh, Auntie, how are you? Hey, it's Mr. B, Mr. Smiley Face, Mr. B. Or maybe if you work more hard, you'll be Mr. A, eh? Huh? Or maybe you work low, more low, and then you go Mr. C. I tell you something over here. It's case harder and harder oh, every day for really? me walk around like that. And not because I get more fat. I know what you're thinking, you're fat, fat. As I ate it for a Chinese, that's a good luck. That's the way I look at it, because that's how I think, eh? You what you thinking it? about Mr. B? Or you agree with me? Or that's because of you are a nice man, eh? You understand how hard we work over here. Because you work hard, do you work? Hard. I tell you something about me, Mr. B. I've been working hard since you were a small kid or here. Eh? This the one problem I'm... is now the people talk too much. They just talk, 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 talk. They don't work enough. That's what the problem. Because look at it, what they give me. They let me make lunch component. What is that? That is for car. I make over here food. Look at this. Meat or meat alternative. What is alternative? Get meat or no meat. No more alternative. I'm not a mechanic or here. I am a cook. Exactly. And, but they let me make component. Everything is numbered. What, you like the two or the three? I give you one little piece for. I don't think that's right. I think it should be like food cup. Maybe you get selling like that. What is everything number? Too much computer nowadays. Never and that's know, your fault, eh? you younger generation over here. I'm going over here work. Work with eh? a piece of wood. Like there you that. Go. Because you know, what it's your guys' fault. <sighs> oh, I get it all tired over here sometimes. I gotta talk to myself. Okay, take it easy. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, you're doing good. Oh boy, when you old, you only have to talk to yourself. You know, if I don't talk, I miss myself. Okay, I'm oh, a little bit. I yeah, come back. You work over here. It. I tell you something. something else? Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. But next time, I'm not going to Okay, forget. I, I got to go. What? I'll like see you tomorrow. I want you to make a big up corner to power hot in him. I hear you a while. I hang out. I always liked her. Funny way. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, boy. I did. My first time in my life, I'm glad I'm driving like a Cadillac. Oh, I did. Well, I'm going back to my own concert. Learning how to gas. Gee, why they make this thing out of plastic? Take it home, Mr. there. Oh, boy, they're going to be proud of me. When I see all I went through to do this. Okay, here we are. Okay. Right on. Let's stop. Let's stop. No. Come on. No. No. Ah. Stop. Okay. Let me see. Hi. Ah, yeah. Can I have a couple of bucks, please? I'm, I'm kind of a hurry. Yeah. Just a little, little fat. Yeah. yeah. Just as quick as I can. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's just get in here. Put a couple of bucks in here. All right. Now grab this. Get a little gas in here. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, oh you're pushing again. I can't believe this. Oh, I'm on my way to do my own concert, and I gotta put up with this up here like can't take it. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me, buddy. Could you help me for a second here, please? Yeah, you. Could you be, please? And I'm in a little bit of a hurry, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm going back to my old high school to do a kind of a concert thing. And, and yeah, you just help me. I just have to get this up uphill here. I kind of run out of gas. Yeah, if you could just, just a couple inches, like the holes was too short. Okay, hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Okay, now let's see what I do. And I, did I put the money? Yeah, I guess I put the money in. Or, okay, yeah, hey, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate that. Okay, man, nice guy, man. I tell you, don't not too many nice guys left in the world. What's the matter? Is this thing on? What's good? What? My, my money. Hey, hey, come, come back. Oh, man. Everything goes wrong when you're trying to. Excuse me, brother. Uh, could I have a couple, couple more dollars? I had a little problem over there. Uh, do, you, do you have a bathroom? Yes, the key's right on the drum. Key's on the drum? Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I don't just so late here. I can't. What is this? I can't. can't. <laughs> I can't believe it'll be the Hulk to get this thing out. No more delays now, man. I just got to get to that concert. I, I, I wonder what the teachers and kids on campus are saying about me. 
I'll never forget that day. There was electricity in the air because the kid was coming back to his old high school for the one show. And by now, he was one big time entertainer and probably a little excited himself. The whole student body was all happy. Probably because they were going to get out of six period. Andy Bumatai is coming. <laughs> Andy Bumatai is down. <laughs> Andy Bumatai is coming down. What's that happens today? And the Bumatai. He's going to give us a show. We was waiting for this whole week <laughs> from Monday. Oh yes, everybody will be there. I asked my boss if I could go. He said sure. Everybody else is going to stay around. They like to see him. He funny like me. He talks about his um, high school years and why not. You know, he rises his down. Only in play though. The way he talked is the way he talked when he was here in Wainai High School. He's no different. He hasn't changed a bit. Most comedians don't know what's going on at that certain time, but he's doing it, you know, he used to do it when he was a kid, and all the kids around here are still doing it, so, you know, we can relate with what he's yeah. talking about. That's the truth about why not. That's why everybody crack up laughing, because the things he's saying really does happen in the school, huh? He was just a funny kid, you know, and he's still a funny guy. Yeah, he's funny. gymnasium. A lot of fun had in this room, I tell you. Basketball games, pep rallies, and then there was that show, I never forget that girl in the front with the big green sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Hello, Hello. Is, this is this working? working? Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, my name's Mr. B, and it's very nice to be here. Yeah, hey, uh, tell me, sir, what do you do for a living? W nothing? <laughs> well, how do you know when you're done? Well, I guess that's working. Looking girls in the front, man. <laughs> no, I, uh. <laughs> what? No lie. No, I always, I always get a little nervous uh, around the pretty girls. Uh, see, when I, was, uh, when I was going to high school, I had asthma. <laughs> and it's hard to be cool when you got asthma, you know what I mean? You're trying to score with the chicks and go, oh, hi, babe. Uh, oh, what's your name? <laughs> You know, I was just uh, thinking that maybe you and me, we could... <laughs> what is that? Oh, don't worry about it. You know, I was thinking that maybe we could... <laughs> it sounds like a kamikaze mosquito. <laughs> I see this thing. This is nice. <laughs> Anita Bryant. <laughs> uh, Boy, Chadler, before I go any further, I'd just like to mention that uh, my clothes have been provided uh, for promotional consideration by Goodwill Industries. <laughs> Your mom used to bring you home clothes from Goodwill. Make air. Yeah, I don't like that one. Somebody died in there. A lot of good stuff down there. I uh, went to high school with clothes from Goodwill. I, Boy, I tell you, clothes, you know, clothes shopping was the hardest thing for me to do when I was going to school. Remember that one, huh? You, you go down, you go shopping with either your mother or your father, and it was a big difference, right? Your dad, when he went clothes shopping, you know, your mom goes, try this on. How's this fit? Do you like this, huh? Your dad is, grab this, grab this, grab one of this, one of this, come on, let's go already. <laughs> Isn't that true? Thank you. Ah, big stage, big stage. This is fun, you know. 
Boy, the old school days, man. I like, I look out there. I mentioned the girls once, but you know, I just, I like to uh, watch them as they grow up, the, uh, the, the lovely young ladies. And uh, you know, because I remember back, remember intermediate school when you guys was going to intermediate school? The girls didn't quite have it together. <laughs> they was just starting to get into makeup. You know what I mean? Big with the blue eyelids with the tape on top, you know? Right? And all, the, and, and all the girls are always asking their friends the same question. What? Match. Uh, yeah. You ever see these girls putting on their makeup in the car coming to work? Oh, that's a lot of fun. No, you, you say, you know, one step on a break. Oh, 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 oh. How's it match? so dangerous you know boy I tell you man I like to uh, go back a little bit in time and talk about an era when life was a little more simple I'm thinking for all of us and that was when you was baby <laughs> you only had two decisions eat ah! doodle That was it, right? Remember that? And then you got a little older. You got a little older and uh, you go with your mom, check out the stores, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, righteous man, big store, yeah? Did you ever get lost in a store? Oh, when you're a small kid, spooky, yeah? Oh no, I'm lost. And if my mother no find me, they gonna sell me, man. And when your mom finds you, what does she do? Oh, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you sure you're all right? Okay, then how many times I told you not to do that? To <laughs> and if you really got your mom mad, she started breaking up the words, yeah? How many times I told you? And if you really get her really, really mad, then she starts breaking up the syllables, huh? Don't you appreciate nothing? Oh, please, mommy, you smaller words. <laughs> Boy, I remember those old days. Remember your first school shower? Oh, wow, you had to get naked with everybody else. My first thought was, my God, they'll see it. <laughs> now the girls are thinking, my God, they'll see them. <laughs> those old days, man, I tell you, those school trips. Remember, remember intermediate school, your first school dance, all the boys was on one side, all the girls was on the other, right? You could always tell the girls who wanted to dance to act like this. Oh, pick me, pick me. Right? Now the really good looking girls always had a fat friend. She get in the way. Like take out the fox, you gotta bring the cow, you know what I mean? Bummer, man. Our guys trying to impress the chicks by smoking cigarette. Seventh grade, 12 years old, trying to look 40. That's right, I'll buy my own, man. When the car come, you better hide. Might be a mother guy, is there? Well, I seen her. I'm telling you, man. Those are the days, boy. The old school days. God. You, know, you know one thing that gets me? Is it a mosquito? I hate mosquitoes, man. You know what I mean? You ever have this happen to you? You're trying to sleep late at night, you know? And you just kind of close in. And all of a sudden, you hear... <laughs> you gotta shake your whole body. You don't know where he landed, right? Actually, he's on the dresser going. <laughs> Bugs, man. 
Huh? How about cockroaches? Don't you love them, those big fat ones? You know the kind you turn on the light in the garage, you hear your car door slam, they're in there playing the radio? Yeah, those big ones, man, and you step on them. You lift up your foot, rubber neck. <laughs> Keep clapping. Let me see those glasses. Those big glasses, man. Bring the glasses. Yeah, bring them up here, baby. Look at this manga. Oh, nice, yeah. Get them all. What? What are you? Why well, remember those old days, man? Remember your little brother ever used to do this to you? Ain't hey, you know what, Andrew? You really ugly, man. Nah, 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 nah. But you really stink, man. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, you like whack on yeah? But you cannot, cause he said nah, 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 nah. What's that got to do with anything? I try to think maybe that's one of the things that could have saved Nixon, you know? National television. Nah, 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 nah. Only joking. <laughs> oh boy. This is fun. Let me see your slipper, baby. Just your rubber slipper. Just toss it up. Yeah, just, just throw it up here. Throw it up. Gee, thank. Oh, look at this bugger. Woo. Oh, look, hardly used, man. What? You knew you was going to be on TV. What a dogs, they love to eat this one, yeah? Yeah? And when a dog eats your slipper, what do you do when he takes your slipper? You do the dumbest thing in the world. You call him over and you ask him what he did with it. I mean, you know what I mean? Can you... Ilya, check on, sit on, sit on, damn it, dog. Where you ain't take my slipper? What did you do with my slipper? Come on, come on, where did you do it, eat? I mean, what do you expect him to say, you know? It's under the house. <laughs> there you go, man. Remember the old bathroom scene? And I know it's still happening. Smoking cigarette in our bathroom. <sighs> Somebody always come up, ask you the same question. Andrew, I can catch drag. Better run fast, bro. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, Andrew. Let me catch drag. Okay, shoot. Here, bro. Oh, thanks, eh? <laughs> hey, come on. What are you, a one-man band or something? <laughs> Jeez, slug lips. <laughs> well, your father was one vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Gee, man. Bury this thing all like gulla gulla on that dip. Gee. To get serious for just a moment, when I was going to this high school, I sat pretty much where you guys are sitting right now, and I always wanted to come back and do a concert just like that. And I just want to say to those of you right now who have any kind of dream for the future, start thinking about it now, and it, it is not an impossibility, because I thought that this was, and it came to be, and I think I should applaud you for that, because I'm... Been a while since I've been on. I like to do a little number. Uh, here's a little something uh, for you. A little pantomime, okay? Five-year-old boy discovers butterfly. Did I hear a Hana Ho? Hey, all right. Yeah, I think I got one more in me. You know, I'm at an age now where people are starting to tell me I look good. 
You know how it goes. Hey, how's it, bro? Hey, Mr. B, hey, you look good. Hey, Mr. B, how's it, brother? Hey, you looking good. You notice young people never say that to each other. You never see two 16-year-old guys going surfing. Hey, bro, we'll go surf, bro. My car is pumping. By the way, you look good. Huh? Well, I'm just telling you, bro, you look good. What, bro, what? You turn into kind or what? No, bro, I'm just telling you, you look good. Yeah, I heard you, bro. Come on, we'll go surf already. Yeah. Walk in front. Walk in front. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been great. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I got a joke. If you like jokes, uh, it's kind of a special meaning for me, so I'd like to share it with you. Uh, this, uh, this guy, his name is uh, Billy Ugly. <laughs> Quite a name, huh? Well, he didn't like it much, and he changed it, huh? You know what he changed it to? Uh, well, Charlie Ugly. Oh, oh, bitch. Bitch. oh come on, you guys. That's my best joke. Do you think one of the passes to be out of class? Passes. Everybody's good. Yeah, great. Passes. Where's your pass? Huh? Where's your pass? Mine? Yes. No, no, I'm Andy Bumata. I just did my own concert. Andy, I, Andy, I used to go to this school. I don't care who you are. You better come with me to the office. Oh, uh, well, no, I, hey, come on, help me. Come on. No, no, really, I, I was just performing out here. Yeah, I'm a big star now. Sure. Richard Nano and Blue Kill. You've heard of Blue Kill? Uh, well, I just came back from that. You know, I love this school. But I gotta be honest, when I graduate, I told myself, hey, I'm gone and never coming back. And every year I found myself visiting more and more. And then I realized, hey, you gotta do what you can to help the kids, you know? You gotta do your best to try and stop them from making the same mistakes you made. And then, before I knew it, here I was. And the funny thing is, feel pretty good. Yeah, and those kids, yeah, they're doing good. You know Yamasato, he invested in some computer companies before anybody knew what was. Yeah, you don't need to worry about nothing now. And uh, Bumpy, well, you know, still the same, active. <laughs> oh, hey, Dizzy, I'm gonna take off right now. What, you can handle? Right on. Dizzy, he's my right-hand man now. Good man. Da -da. Well, not a day, not a dollar. <laughs> hey, Mr. B, on top. Hey. On top. Oh, yeah. Thanks, eh? You know, come to think of it, that kid, he did okay. <laughs>